forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to Nestra Alpha 18. We are playing the War of the Walkers mod. So as you can see, I'm here still at this tower station thing. Made myself some four torches. Uh, made a few drop chests over here. So this is food, water, medical. Um, over here is just smeltables. And then over here is just random crap that we need. Now, I actually went during the night and I just went a little bit through the skills of here. I was stuck on this page, the perks books. I don't know, uh, it's on this one. Uh, attribute skills. And I was like, how do I make a spear? So I was looking through all these guys and over here, recipe books. Or rather, recipe perks. Um, it says here, spear crafting. So we need to unlock this. What do you need for this though? Play level 5. So we need to kill a few more zombies and also for the COVID class, we already have 10 kills out of 25. I want to show you guys this. These are the different classes you can get. I want to go for the fighter class. If I'm not mistaken, you can do a few classes together. Uh, when you go to quests over here, it shows for COVID class, kill any zombie, 10 out of 25. And then for fighter class, we just need the baseball bat, pa uh, baseball bat parts and forged iron. So what I have on me today is the Duke's tokens and anything we can use on us. Meat though, I don't know if meat's going to be necessary. I want to make myself some bacon and eggs. Uh, but I don't have the resources for that at the moment, so that's going to just be a waste. We can actually put this one over here. Just going to get my weapons in the right order, so should I need to stack or run or whatever, I can. Okay, so just goes to show you. <laughs> just read, John. Just read. Uh, that is four frames. Let's make 16 more. Like so. W. I was clicking W on the keyboard, but it was not working. Okay, so we're supposed to go to the trader today. Let's see if we can find the trader. We're going to kill any zombie that we come across. And then, as you guys can see, I took apart all the cars, all the garbage bags, everything in here. So it is nice and clean. We could technically, for now, use this as our base. Oh, can I make this jump? Uh, we can, for now, use it as our base. Uh, but I want a nice, sturdy thing before then. So I think I might just make a base out of wood. Or, as soon as I have the stone and cobble, a base out of that. And which inclines and which tips and stuff. So I really want to uh, try a proper defense, since this, as far as I know, this mod doesn't have tough zombies like the... Ran my stamina back. Uh, it doesn't have tough zombies like uh, demons and demoli... Uh, no, no, it does have demolishers. Um, demons and behemoths and stuff like that. So I should be able to make a normal base this time around. But if I can make with red chips and stuff just to give myself the leg up, why not? Come on. He's going to be mad again, isn't he? Oh wow, he's not mad. Oh, he is a little bit. Did I hurt your feelings? Thank you. Okay, so we're supposed to be going this direction. I just need to be watch out, uh, watching out for wolves and stuff. So I'm gonna, as I go, just keep an eye open. And that's also why I have these frames on me, guys. As soon as I see a wolf, I need to stack up, get away from him, and get to safety. I want to be able to make myself some lockpicks as soon as possible. So the goal is almost the same as my Darkness Falls playthrough. I want to be able to make myself some lockpicks so I don't have to worry later on about lockpicks. As soon as I loot a POI, I don't want to see, okay, but I can come back later. No, I want to loot it now. So the sooner I can loot something, the better. If I go through a POI, even if it costs a few lockpicks, I need to open the things up. Because we should probably be running through the grassy area over here because we do need some more feathers. There's a ton of huge POIs in this place. I love it. There's quite a few factories. So as, as long as we keep our eyes open, get some ammo, get some guns, we should be able to do these soon. Wait, what? Oh, I thought that was heading towards me. I thought it was a wolf or something. Hello, dear. So if I go for a bow and arrow. Oh, come on, John. Do a little bit better. I think I'm going to aim for a neck. That way I'm assured to hit her in the face. Because if I aim for the face, yep, right next to the face. It's like I'm cutting her with the arrow. She's going to start getting mad. One more shot. One more shot. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, I need to work on my aiming as well. I can't afford to be wasting all my arrows every time I shoot. Okay, at least this is a lot like vanilla, so there's iron nodes on top. Um, I'm so not used to seeing these because I've been playing for Do uh, Darkness Falls for so long. Guys, I'm so set in Darkness Falls that I wouldn't mind just playing Darkness Falls. But I think you guys would get a little bit annoyed by me just doing that series. I mean, it's awesome because there's demons and behemoths and it gets really, really tough. But then what? After that, that's it. Okay, so there's army camps and stuff over here that I could loot, because there should be some um, some guns and stuff in these houses. The problem is killing all these military guys with the ammo and armor and stuff I have 
There's no way that's happening. Landmine right there. Almost thought it was a bird's nest. Imagine I accidentally uh, slack, smack it first. Because I'm anyway going to loot it. And then I realize, oh crap, that's not a bird's nest. I'm really hoping I can get a few things that I can sell at the trader as well. To get a little bit more cash. Wow, these... Hubcap mines, I think it's, t what are these called again? I don't know if it's hubcap mines or tin mines, but either way, they're quite far out. They're not even next to the building anymore, damn. So you need to be really, really careful when you pass these places. You can't afford to accidentally step on one. And I should probably also keep destroying all of these every time I loot one. Um, I think if I have the stamina, I'm just going to power attack those. I should be able to power attack and completely destroy the garbage bag in one shot. Now this... Might just have some loot in it at the bottom. Uh, a few ch a few crates that I can destroy. But once again, there's a ton of zombies that we need to clear out. We first need to be able to make sure we can clear out places like that without worrying. At the moment, I just don't have the equipment for it. Okay, so let's see. I need more arrows. 44 more arrows. Yes, thank you. I need to focus on the basics. Get back to the basics. Do it properly. Okay, so that's waterworks, right? And if I can get the secret loot of that place this early in game. Whoa. But then again, this early, is my lucky looter and everything going to really give me some good loot? Or is it just going to be crappy loot? Okay, so this is coal. Let's just mark this on the map as well. I, I want to keep marking resources so that later it's easier to, to, to determine where what is. We want to be able to say, okay, yeah, I need coal, let's just quickly run over there. Instead of looking on the map and exploring just to find some resources. Okay, guys, it seems that with my frame rate stuck at 30, the game's running smooth. It's just a shame that I can't have it on full frame rate. Okay, please give me some more honey. Tell me I'm lucky. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought as much. From the two stumps I got earlier, I got honey. But you're not always going to get that lucky. Okay, so what do I need still? More feathers. Okay, I want to make sure I keep on crafting, crafting, crafting. Um, I do need to cut down a few trees though, because we need wood. We need an insane amount of wood so I can get my base up and running. In the beginning, I'm not going to be able to make myself a cobble base. But as long as I can make myself a wooden base, that should be okay. okay let's just stop those, put them in the back. And keep chopping this tree. Also guys, um, I want to do a... For, for the streams I'm going to do... I said that I want to upload videos of Darkest Falls and War of the Walkers one video a day for six days a week. The seventh day, Sundays, I'm going to be recording. And then, but that depends. Um, I don't know if I want to record six episodes yet. So I might record on Sundays and Wednesdays. And then live streams in between is going to be just random games. If you guys don't want to join in, you can and stuff like that. But we could also always do a Darkest Falls vanilla online thing where we uh, stream that and you guys can join in as I'm streaming. Only problem with that is, um, I'm not always going to be streaming that one, so I'm going to be far behind in days and progress and stuff. And I have to already set settings this low just for these. Now, how am I going to stream and do a multiplayer server? The lag is just going to be insane. And get, unless I can uh, be able to get myself a graphics card soon, I won't be able to do stuff like that. So I think I'm just going to stream games that are not lagging at the moment. And then as soon as I have the resources, the means to be able to do proper streams with proper quality and everything, then we'll do a Seminist Dry multiplayer live stream. Okay, just to make sure I actually hit you in the face. Oh, out of stamina. If he gets mad up here. Oh, okay. A gentle businessman. Swing at me. Thank you. Okay, so I just need to kill zombies as I go for the COVID class, and then I want to see if I can make myself a baseball. Baseball bat. If I'm not mistaken... That's going to help me a ton in the beginning. Wait, what's that? Just a pig. Um, in that War 3 Zook mod, guys, I actually saw a animal. I think it was a hyena. But the way he was moving, everything was just creepy. And the noise those spiders make. Oh, I have arachnophobia, so just the thought of that noise actually gives me the chills. Okay, so we should... I want to see what this trader can do. Can I build there? I doubt it. Um, if I can, that's a problem that I have now solved. Only problem is, obviously, uh, it's far away from the town, so we're going to need a bicycle to get back into town then. Ooh, there's a PI right there. 
I want to see if that POI has a forge for me, because if it, it does, then we can just as well set up there. I mean, you obviously you want to be in town, you can set up close to the trader, why not? This is more cold, I don't need a market because it's right outside the trader. And no, okay, so you can't build by the trader, unfortunately. Let's just see what you have for us. If I'm not mistaken, I still have a quest of meeting you. Can I pick these up at least? Nope. And loot this. No, that works at least. That's good to know. Uh, over here is the forge. Untouched. Damn, it's broken. And then at the back over here is the concrete mixer. Which side? Oh, is it concrete? Mi oh, no. It's uh, this one. So the concrete mixer is going to be on this side over here. I'm just glad since I can't do damage to this place, zombies also can't do damage. Imagine you can't do damage, but the zombies can get in. Yes, we have a working concrete mixer. So this is gravel, concrete mix, asphalt, stone, and uh, red concrete. Oh, so we don't need any of those things at the moment. I want to see if I can just quickly loot this place and then sell whatever crap he had in his own base back to him. Imagine uh, you have to uh, you steal this, like, I think it's Skyrim that you have to so sneak like this. You have to sneak and steal stuff because technically it's its stuff. Nice! Workbench over here. It's a shame I can't make these yet, but I need to be level 25 to be able to get that skill. So we want to get uh, the spear crafting over here, so we need to kill more zombies to level up. Um, I want to go for basal bat crafting as well, but we need the bat parts to craft the bat anyways. I almost forgot that this is uh, almost exactly like vanilla. Where you need parts for a certain thing to be able to make them. I know in vanilla you also need like gun parts and metal parts and iron parts and stuff to be able to make stuff. I don't know why, but as I'm talking to you guys, I am hiccuping I am so, so bad. To see your face. I get um, sitting by myself oh, it's there. a shame you can't loot that at the back now. You can't destroy these blocks. Okay, may I see your inventory please? Whoa, that's expensive. But look, look at the AK. Iron Spear 2.4. I can actually buy this one. This is actually going to help us a ton if I can get this now. But let's just first see. What does she have under Secret Stash over here? Forgetting Elixir. This gives you, resets your skill points if I'm not mistaken. Uh, which, no, no, no. If you can get some good tools perhaps and guns. But I don't have a ton to sell on me so I just need to be careful. Okay, so let's see. Jar of Honey. I do have Honey on me for when I get infected so that's okay. Chemicals, gunpowder and stuff, it's too early game for that. Ooh, a ton of rebar, wow. Nice. So if I had concrete mix, I could make myself a base. Tungsten ramp frame. Okay, so how much is the resources though? 500? Just want to see, is that the amount? Yeah. Okay, so it's 500 buying 100 concrete mix. And if I'm not mistaken, it's still 20 per block, so there's only like 5 blocks worth. It's not worth it at the moment. If she had more concrete mix, I should be able to afford that. But for now, it's okay. Let's just leave that. Um, sham chowder, if I'm not mistaken, it still gives good. Max stamina and health, yeah. This is a very good thing to drink if you're low in health and you need to get your wellness up really, really fast. So we're going to buy one of these. Uh, what else do you have for me, please? Weapons and ammo. Iron Spear, like I said, that's a really good one early game. Tungsten Spear, 9,000. Imagine we were able to get this one. A Tungsten Spear, it's not going to break that easy. Uh, melee damage, 34. And then melee damage for this one. Uh, half that. But I mean, it's iron. If you can put a few mods in there, you're set. Because I might just be buying myself the Iron Spear, guys. <laughs> I know it's a little bit of a waste of cash. But I mean, it's a weapon that we can use. It's a weapon stronger than the one we have. So why not buy it? I'd be a fool not to well, take this opportunity. Okay, so let me just see I if I you. can get any jobs from her. Um, I don't. You can't go into one block, so it's not as easy to find buried treasure in this mod. So let's just see which one's closest. Fetch. I think it's a house down the road. Fantastic. The more I'll of these quests we can do, the better. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to do as many dig quests, like I said. Okay, you know what? Can we do this? This, I want to try this out on the zombie. Just hope there aren't too many out here waiting for me. Hello, lady. Okay, take a step back. Hit. Why doesn't she want to hit? Usually they want to hit right, a real off, early off the bat, but this one didn't want to hit me. I usually let them hit and then I stand back. 
Run, 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 run. She takes a ton of shots from this weapon. Damn. Okay, so can I throw her with it? Yes, power attack. Okay, so if I can knock them down and then do a power attack to the head, that's going to help me tremendously. So let's just try this. No, nope, you're not falling down. And you're going to start getting mad if I don't do shots to your head. Power attack. Nice. If I can keep doing that, just power attack at the right moment, I can get this class done, the, uh, the covert one. Let's see if I do a power attack from the start. Oh, wow, that's a really crappy shot. And where's my spear now? Over here. Oh, it's gonna suck if I lost my spear from doing that just now. Ooh, took off her head like it was nothing. Okay, so if I can just time it right, power attacks are the way to go. Obviously, you don't want to do a power attack and run out of stamina, so you have to be really, really careful with that. Oh, no, 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 no. It's stuck on the barbed fencing over here. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken... Oh, wait, is there a guard captain to this place? No, I don't think there's guard captains in this one, is there? Oh, why did I do that? The guard captain is usually upstairs, but I didn't see one. So I don't know if this place has a guard captain or not. There's no one on the roof. Okay, so this place does not seem to have a guard captain. I could be wrong, might be standing behind something, not spawning in. But I don't see one. Now, this building, where's this one? 500 meters away, let's quickly go do this quest. It's right there. It's a shame she's not giving me quests inside the town, because we do need to go back there. But if I could get enough coins from doing these quests, guys, I'll be able to get myself some proper weapons and proper tools to really get going. At the moment, these stone tools and everything, it's not, it's not enough. Wait, is that another town on this side? Damn, okay. If I'm not mistaken, there's three levels to this place. There's like a small attic kind of piece. Uh, not really an attic, it's like a third floor. And then there's bathroom and stuff. I usually got, uh, get crops and stuff in there. I thought it might be like the forge house, the forge PR that we usually use in Alpha 17. I wish there was a way to take certain elements from certain Alphas and put them into one Alpha. Like the visuals we have now, but a lot of the mechanics of Alpha 9. I'll say, I've said it a thousand times before guys, but Alpha 9 was in my opinion the best Alpha they ever had. What's this? What is that? That is zinc and copper. Okay, let's just mark that on the map. Okay, the more resources we have on the map, the better. I should probably be trying to kill myself some more animals over here. But just now they are aggressive when you start attacking them. Um, I mean, wolves and stuff, they're aggressive no matter what. But I don't want to have a pig on my ass like a warthog. Especially early game. <laughs> you guys know in vanilla... I always try and kill a uh, warthog as soon as possible, and then most of the times I end up dying because those things are OP in the beginning. But how underpowered you are, that that thing can take you down that fast. Okay, there's some resources over here. What's this? Lead. Okay. I know this is pretty far out, so there's no real point in me marking this. But as soon as we have a motorcycle or minibike or something, Getting to these will be way easier, so then it'll actually be worth doing so. 21 more, what do we need now? Still feathers, we're all almost out of stone now, though. So, let's see, this is the stone pick. It's nice that they actually added this into the game, let's just see power attacks. Now the power attacks drains like, whoa, I thought it was like 10 stamina, but that was almost like 20. So you just switch back to a left click then. We don't want to run out of stamina out here and there might be a wolf or something in the area. Also, there's something massive on the map that I just saw. What's this? It's right to the left. Oh, it's a park. In Darkness Falls, I actually got so many spiders in this park. I need to be really careful of that. Hello, dude. I should have actually tried a power attack with you, but that's fine. Or a sneaked power attack. Come on. Um, unfortunately, I can't right click and he might get mad now. Okay. So I just need to knock them down first and then do the power attack, not the other way around. Because if I do a power attack, they're down, then I can't finish them off on the ground. I mean, I could use my sledgehammer, but I'll need to do a power attack with that. Okay, I have no idea whether this mod also has spiders, so... They just keep our eyes and ears open. I hope they make sounds like in the other mods. I mean, they are so creepy, those things. Ugh, makes my, my skin... Crawl. Okay, come on, we need to loot as much as possible to get all these quests done. The more loot we have on us, the more likely we are to complete a quest without knowing it. 
If I'm not mistaken, this part, one out of five for Boulder class, that's to unlock the class. I, I could be wrong, but I think that's to unlock the class and go further in that class. Or it might just be like the first layer. It is saying one out of five. You know what? This PI over here, please tell me there's no zombies in the secret room. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, I think vanilla and all of them are the same. There should be some loot over here, some stash. So if I can stack up over here and get this without the zombies inside hearing or seeing me, I should be set. Okay, so can I... How much is this? Yeah, I want to be able to put a frame there. That's why I need to destroy this. I just hope any zombies that are inside... Whoa, no, I just dropped my weapon. Uh, any zombies inside, I hope they don't hear me now. Now my water is getting low, I should really pay attention to that. And also we need to loot all these coffins, because coffins sometimes... Look at that! That is a... 4x4 chassis schematic, nice! From a coffin. And there are so many coffins outside, we don't even need to go inside, there's still 4 on that side. Okay, so I want to see if I can get back here, without the, the secret stash zombies hearing me over here. If I can just get low enough, I can break all of this stuff apart without them even noticing I'm here. Please, 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 please. How many zombies are in there? Oh, crap. Okay, is that... What's that? Sealed shipping crate? Do I need to break into that? Nice. Okay, please don't let the zombies hear me. Resource crate? Oh, nice! Concrete mix and nails. I wonder if I can break through here without them hearing me. 7,000. No, that's not worth it. Um, I need to break up into this wood. But like I said, I hope they don't hear me now because then the fact that this is 7,000 just like that means it's going to get tough in there. Okay, can I break up higher? They changed this a little bit in this mod. Usually, you're able to just walk in there. I don't know what this iron piece is over here. This tough iron. Okay, there is a vulture on the roof, so I need to be careful that that, that doesn't attack me from the sides. Okay, my graphics card is at 60 degrees, and my CPU at 50. And if I can loot this from underneath their noses, that's going to be so awesome. Untouched, please. Yes, a melee weapon, although it's just an iron club. And what's this? Military armor, advanced muffler, and rock launcher parts. Is that all that's in here? I don't want to provoke them. Just now they are feral, so they just back off. We got the secret loot. That's all that matters now. And then also, while we're here... Like I said, just quickly loot these four. Come on, there you go. Just now there is some secret loot or some ammo or something in there and you can use it. Ammo, thank you. I wonder if you can make yourself a pipe pistol in this mod as well. Just in case I get swarmed and I have 9 more ammo, then I can make myself a pipe pistol. Okay, so the quest we need to do is on that side. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to be this house over here. Okay, so let's see if I can take care of this that guy quickly. I need to first knock him down and then do a power attack to his head. Okay, he is starting to get mad at me. Power attack. And don't miss. If you miss that power attack guys, you have to back off so fast. Because you just use a power attack, you are very low on stamina. Wait, which house is this going to be? Let's just do this quickly. I am starting to run out of stamina way faster now. I really thought it was that house. Is it this one or the next one? I think it's the next one. No, it's still a few on. Wow. It's pretty far out there. Okay, so I need to make sure I keep repairing all my weapons and tools and stuff. Uh, especially my stone weapons. They are getting really, really low. And then I need to get myself some more stone as soon as possible. This is a nice big P.I., but I'm guessing there's a ton of sleepers in there as well. Okay, just don't want to step over a bird's nest. Also, guys, sometimes you can actually hear you're stepping over one because it sounds like you're running on wood. A lot of people don't notice that. They just run past it and then that's it. But you can just by opening your ears. You don't even need to see the bird's nest. Just make sure you, uh, you listen closely and then when you run over it, it'll make a wood sound. Okay, there's a zombie right there. I'm getting as many feathers as possible so I know I can get enough ammo. Wait, is it to the left? Okay. Before I go there for that one, let's just clear out this zombie. I know there is some secret stash in this place. Just can't remember where. 
In the beginning, I only want to go for the secret stash. I don't want to focus on anything else in the beginning. That's just a waste of time and resources for, uh, for me. Power attack. And wait for that head to lift a little bit, guys. If you go for where the head was, you might just end up missing. Ooh, this is nice and quaint. In the War 3 Zook mod, you can actually loot these barrels. You can loot a ton of stuff. Okay, so unlocked. Can I get zombies' attention without really venturing inside? Nice. If I can sneak attack all of them like this, I might be able to get through this place quite easily. Let's just, while we're in a room, quickly clear that room. We should probably be closing the doors behind us. But, if we need to book it, we need the door open. We can't look for the hitbox on the door. Sometimes, some of the containers really, I struggle to get the hitbox. But it seems this mod is a little bit different. It's easier to find things. And also, from the start, we need to make sure we take these suitcases for the scrap polymers. Um, I don't know if the scrap polymers are going to be that big a deal in uh, War of the Walkers. Uh, because I know in Darkness Falls, you need it for the vehicle mods. I don't know if you can mod vehicles in this mod, though. Yeah, we need to go up and down at the same time. Um, see, that's a nice thing about multiplayer. One person can, can go and explore upstairs, one can go downstairs. Yeah, do I have water on me, though? I am still... Ooh! What is this? 5.56mm uh, NATO bullets. I don't know what gun that is for, because I do not know my guns. I see so many people talking about this. Oh, this weapon's so awesome, this weapon's so this. I don't know weapons, guys. Um, we don't have a ton of weapons here in South Africa. Sort inventory. Let's go. I am encumbered, so I do need to watch out that I don't run out of stamina and get stuck. But that's why, if I can sneak attack some power attacks over here. And also, we should be able to use the roof over here as protection. Just want to make sure of that. Yeah. The zombies struggle to hit you down here, but you can hit them. Should probably first go for the open doors. <laughs> Oh crap. I tried not making noise, but going over that piece of paper just now screwed me. Jump over. Yeah, I just, I'll have to wait for him to break that block and come down to me. Okay, so I just messed up bad. We need to kill these zombies outside. Oh wait, did I accept this quest? Or... I don't know if you have to accept the quest or how this works over here. Yeah, you need to accept it, so I just messed up already. Okay, so I have to clear out this place once again. And now I've already stirred those zombies up, so I need to clear them out first. Okay, so did that zombie respawn? Luckily not. Okay, I hate looting stuff again, guys. You know my, uh, my view on that. But I mean, unfortunately, I made a big mistake just now. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I got this thing for a reason. Tell me it's strong enough to take care of these guys. On outside. Oh, power attack. Or all the power attack gone wrong. Step back. I don't want to get too far away from this house. Because I do know that you're going to fail the quest if you do so. Oh, hello lady. Did not see you coming. Come on, fall down, fall down, fall down. And power attack when you're down. Oh no, your head's gone. Damn it, her head was stuck inside him. So I couldn't see her head properly. I don't want to get too far away from this PR. I oh, hello zombies. Crap, that was a big mistake. I keep forgetting that I have to hold in that power attack button. Otherwise, oh, hello, you are mad at me. Oh, I am actually shivering at the moment, guys. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Don't stun me or bleed me, please. I should actually be getting him while he's down, but this one's in the way now. Run, 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 run. When he's down, one more shot. Thank you. Okay, so I should be able to take him down. Hopefully, I didn't get too many zombies now because I riled these ones up first. Oh crap, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Just close that door so no more oh, new zombies come after us. Okay, that was way too close for comfort. Let me just quickly pick up this quest over here. 
Oh man, I hope there aren't any new sleepers in here. Up, oh, there's already one over there. Damn, I can't believe I just called even more zombies in. If I can attack him with power attacks and overpower him. Thank you. That just saved me a little bit of time. Come on. No zombie over here. I think last time I was in a building like this, I got stuck. All I had to do is crawl into a corner and they couldn't touch me. I was able to take them out. Okay, so this one has a door. Let's just close that. Any other zombies in here? Uh, what's this? That looks so suspicious. Okay, and there might be something behind over here. So uh, this might just be the thing we need. No, it's not. Okay, so this is hectic. Just destroy this. Any new zombies? Any new zombies? I hope I actually riled up some of the old zombies in as well. Or the, the new zombies that spawned in just now. That means I don't have to kill too many because what I killed just now were the zombies that got reset from me accepting the quest. Okay, so please, please, please focus on. The box right there. No zombies. Let's just close this door behind us. And grab this. So I am going to take the scrap polymers, guys, just in case later on we might need it for something. Who knows? Perhaps, because remember, I don't know this mod. So it's a big chance that there's stuff that, uh, that I'm picking up now that will be useful later. Okay, this is brewery sealed shipping crate. So does that mean it is drinks? Brewery loot. And nothing. Now where is this box? It needs to be... Oh, it's here. This panel is skewed, so there's something behind it. Okay, guys, I think I'm just going to call it episode here. We're going to head back to the trader and hand everything in. And we need to go dump our loot because we are encumbered as hell. I should probably start scrapping stuff that I'm not going to be using. And see you guys next time. If you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? Did I miss anything? Any tips or tricks on this mod for you guys? Anything at all, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.